these are the tools required in order to open up your PlayStation 3 Fat model. You need Phillips 0, Phillips number 1, Phillips number 2, Phillips number 3, screw bit screwdriver, Tox T10 screw bit screwdriver. You can either use small Phillips uh, flathead screwdriver or micro turn precision screwdriver. If this is your first time opening up your console, best is to use one of these markers so that you can mark down where all the screws go. And when you try to put your console back together, uh, it will make the job a lot easier. Other uh, handy thing to have is this small utility component box. Uh, PS3 has a lot of different types of screws. Uh, best is to put them and organize them into these different compartments. And it will be a breeze uh, when you try to put your console back together if you have everything organized. Okay, let's get going. Let's open up your PS3. Step 1, we'll be removing the warranty sticker and the rubber pad. It's located here. Next, uh, there's a Torx. So simply remove it. Next, we are able to remove our faceplate. So gently slide it that way and you can lift it up. Next, uh, remove this clip. Uh, do not lose it. Next, uh, we'll be taking off all these Phillips screws. And then there are two uh, Phillips screws located here. So remove all these screws. Next, um, we are able to lift up our top cover. So grab your micro turn precision screwdriver and there is a clip here, simply unclip it. Okay, next uh, we'll be removing the memory card uh, cable. So simply unclip this connector and gently remove the cable. Our top is separated. Next uh, we'll be removing the Blu-ray drive, so disconnect the power cable. Untap the cable first. And gently pull it up and disconnect the data cable here. Our blue drive is separated. Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, remove a disc manually from a PlayStation 3 Fat uh, Blu-ray drive. The model we have here is CECHC02. It's a 60 gig model. We'll also be resetting uh, the whole motor assembly uh, so that we are able to eject and feed disc properly. Uh, just to give you, just to quickly show you uh, what's happening. I've got a disc here. So I'm trying to insert it. Uh, there's some obstruction there so that means there's another disc in there or uh, there's some sort of issue with the uh, eject feed mechanism so what we'll be doing we'll be taking out the disc if there's a disc in there manually and resetting the whole gear uh, all you need is a Phillips zero screwdriver okay let's get going let's open up your blu-ray drive flip it over we'll be removing these two screws and these three black Phillips screws Next we are able to lift up our top cover, so simply pull it up from here. And the top cover is separated. Um, as you can see there is a disc stuck in there. So remove the magnetic spindle. Next uh, we will be removing uh, the five screws as well as we'll be removing the sensor cables. So let's just remove the sensor cable first, peel off the sticker. And then there's another one on the side, peel it off as well. And uh, remove or disconnect the sensor cable. It's a very delicate cable, so we have to be a bit careful. So the sensor cable is off. Next we'll be removing the five screws and lifting up the top panel. So 
we are now able to lift up our top and also simply gently pull it up you'll see all the elements will snap in so the top is separated and that's our disc so gently remove the disc as well next uh, we'll be resetting the eject feed mechanism and the gear assembly okay uh, as you can see uh, it thinks that the disc is still in there so these arms are all open and this element or this metal this piece should be here so that's its original position in order to reset it uh, we need to uh, take off the eject feed mechanism first so simply unscrew this and gently pull it up and you'll see the gear will snap in its place as well next uh, we'll be resetting the gear in order to do that uh, you have to take out uh, this gear piece here so remove the screw first and once you take this off you'll hear a clicking noise and this will move back to its original position here so So that's all reset. Uh, let's put this back gear back in its position. In order to do that, you have to unscrew these two screws. And put this back in its position. and place the two screws place the gear screw place your eject feed mechanism assembly back in its place Place the screw to a quick test. All the elements are operational. Let's put back our top cover. Let's place the five screws back in its place. Next, uh, let's connect the sensor cable. And place the stickers back in its place. We can use the new ones. Let's place one here, and the other one goes here. Next, place your magnetic spindle. Next, place back your top cover. Simply align it here first. Next, place the two silver screws here and three black Phillips screws here. All done. Next, 
let's place the Blu-ray drive back in the console so simply connect the ribbon cable first and clip it down and then connect the power cable let's put back our top cover and the faceplate so simply align these four clips here and place the ribbon cable next uh, we'll be placing all the Phillips screws and the two Phillips screws that hold the power supply here. Next, uh, grab this metal piece and place it in here. Next, slide your faceplate and we'll be placing the torque screw and our rubber pad. Well done. Thank you. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.